Hi, my name is Jesse. Hello, Jesse. And I'm Alan Matrick at uh, Morris Brothers. Um, I'm 18. <laughs> I've been here for about 14 years. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> um, I'm quite sad to leave, actually. Everyone knows I'm Nadia. Um, I've been in this school since 1999, which is 14 years. Um, I think it's time for all of us to just enjoy the last days of our school and finally move on because I know when I'm speaking, I've actually become part of the furniture. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you for all the teachers for putting in the effort and special thanks definitely go out to Dr. Akel and Mrs. Batho because I still remember you guys on my first day of preschool and honestly I don't think many of the students would have been shaped and molded into the way that they are now if it wasn't for Dr. Akel. So thank you Dr. Akel and thank you to all the teachers of St. Henry's. Yes. Hey. What's up? <laughs> what <I'm> say? <laughs> I want to say that the Matrix of this year is the coolest group ever and thanks for keep making it real guys, we're gonna miss you guys. Cheers guys, it's been great, sad to see you go, bye. Hello, cheers. Laka Artis, been a good 12 years. Wasn't sure most of the time, but it was fun. Everyone, good luck in the real world, way harder than school. This is for us, really. But I hope you'll succeed. Thanks. He speaks on behalf of all of us. Um, good luck with the studies. Hope you all get into what you want to do. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget your school memories. Yeah. Okay. Treasure it. Yeah, treasure them. We'll always look back on the school with fond memories. So thanks for all the good time, guys. Thanks for being my schoolmates for four years now. It was really awesome meeting like every single one of you. Sweet. Hey, my trick 2013. Just want to wish you guys good luck for next year. Hope you have crazy fun and enjoy yourselves. Sunny Bonani, King Gurazan, Gafiga La Emaras College, Gebanga Eline, Kuimin Yaga Eis Chagalombili, Gikona Emaras, Beku Nabantu, Bangi Pate Kashe, Empilwen Yami, Ginga Tanda Uku, Valelisa Wonke, Umundu, Yabonga. Okay, thank you for all for a great stay here. Said in the past five years. I'm chilling with my clique. Every day, doing the same thing. We belong to the world. The clique. <laughs> the clique. Team says our wives. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> Mini here talking. Um, I've been here since Mini grade 8 and so far I've enjoyed my experience in Morris Brothers. I know the next grades to come will enjoy it too, so... Hey guys, um, so I've been here for way too long and I think it's time to pack my bags and start my own journey. I'd like to say thanks to the teachers and most of all to the Matrix of 2013 to contributing to who I am today. See you guys at Rage. Adam Ali, why I respect Adam Ali, why I love him, is because he's a man that doesn't speak often, but when he speaks, people listen. And he's always had that influence on us as a class, being a guy not so big in stature, but big in personality. And uh, for that reason, I will always love and remember Adam Ali. Pierce Jackson, a manly man. He once killed a buffalo with his bare hands. He makes ladies weak at the knees. I'm glad to have taught him everything I know. Like Dennis enjoys hanging around in the bat cage and Chris, wait, you didn't finish. Oh, I'm just doing my best Dennis impersonation. <laughs> well, hopefully you will look like that at the end of the exam. Dark circles under your poor. Van Harke Vest. Elke Nacht. Leah. Michael Leah. Will you have still a grass? Amber. Composure. Like we have after match marking, nice. So it's a right up on the fan. Yeah. So for being the scarrel, Omar is the leader. The scarrel is means I'm a lot cooler. As it's bad, it's bad. I'm here. You're innocent, but we always assert that, guys. Just a little Late for breakfast, guys. <laughs> No way!
I will always cherish the close intimacy I've had with Pierce Jackson. Um, uh, the, the, the wonderful memories I had of um, Nadia's insightful uh, interpretation of things I've said. Um, Is that more like it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm okay, I've gone completely blank. <laughs> okay, how's it, guys? Put my hand in uh, Lucky Hats and I picked up DC. So basically, my two favorite moments about that car is firstly was when we got our discursive essays back and DC broke world record by getting zero out of 70. That was really quite funny and the whole class really laughed at him. Okay, well, I got Keegan and I have too many inappropriate stories to tell. So the one I remember the most is at Rocker Bar when you asked my boyfriend to massage your leg and he did. So uh, anyways, Keegan, you're an awesome friend and I'll miss you. Lane Attics. Though Lane is a stubborn and selfish man, I think he has grown into a young gentleman that his parents can definitely be proud of. I love you, Lane. And Lawrence, remember the time you were at Camp Jonathan and you were singing opera fast? You can see you have the talent and we're going to all get tickets to watch you. No, no, no. In the future. Uh, how's it? I got Brendan Miller, as uh, we all know. Uh, he's quite a funny character. Um, I've known him for the past nine years and in the past nine years I've learned to keep him away from your sister. He is dangerous. <laughs> and in James's case, younger sisters. <laughs> Um, anyway, the Brendan all around, he's a good, good guy, a soccer captain, biggest fowler, brilliant guy all around. So Shmita, she recently had a back surgery, but she's still very dedicated to the school and she's one of the smartest girls I know. But she needs to wake up earlier so she doesn't get detention for coming late every day. Okay, well, I got Tin Swallow and I've had so many memories with Tin Swallow. I've met her in grade 9 and recently we went on a Euro tour and from holding hands and getting stared at to curving over garbage boy to having DMCs at night. It was the most amazing experience. I love you Tim and good luck with the future. Hi guys, I'm Tameka and I picked out Dominique Joseno Briga. Um, what can I say about Dom? He's actually a pretty cool guy, he's really funny and he takes like great Mr. photos. Bean. Yes, he's actually like a Mr. Bean of the great, as many say. So I just want to wish you good luck with your photography and have fun, hey? Enjoy next year. Luke Boiters, he knows a lot and he does push ups when he's out of you. So, Andrew, I've known him for 10 years. And I don't think there's a person that hasn't had a laugh with Andrew. Hi guys, the name I picked was Simbeka Simlani Chacha. I just want to wish her all the best. The thing I miss most about her is when I'm sick and she sings the song to me. All I can say to her is good luck and enjoy the rest of your life. Quentin Charles is one of those guys every school needs. He's always happy and positive and looking to have a good time. No matter what kind of day you're having, if you're sad and you see him, automatically make you smile. Chris and I are biological brothers. Our future looks right together and as brothers, I love will only grow big. Okay, the person I got was Mr. Zayn Al-Qaeda. We all know him for his uh, extremely uh, explosive characteristics and his horrible support of an Arsenal team. Uh, but Zayn, I just want to wish you a good luck for your future and I hope you enjoy your studies. I swear that it's not. I was lucky enough to get my, one of my best friends, Jenna Baronet. Jenna, it's so hard to pick my memories. We've had teachers stand in front of our desk and just shout for about 10 minutes, we copy each other's homework, eat each other's lunches, worn each other's clothes, laugh so we cried and actually cried. I remember once we had an American family come down and the first thing Jen said to the American girl in the quad was, can you speak American? You're one of the best people I know, Jen, and I know a lot of people would agree. Good luck. She's a really funny person. Um, I have almost every lesson with her and she's a character. Always, you know, laughing and like screaming out the wrong answer with confidence, you know, stuff like that. Um, she's a cool person. No, she's one of my close friends. Uh, she's very funny. She can be really mean sometimes, but it's okay because I know she's joking around, I think. Um, she's a nice person. I'm really going to miss her. Always makes our lessons fun. So yeah, I love you, Linda. Um, I had Rustin. 
thanks. And I, um, I think he's the most selfish player, soccer player ever. But you know, he scores goals and he plays well, so I'll give him that one. Also, he's obviously the leader of the male Indian population of our matric grade. And I would take a bullet for him if I was wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I got Cassandra Pirates, the golden girl from the bluff. Um, Cassie's a really hard working girl and is really cool to so hang out with. So I say good luck with the finals and for next year. Okay, and the person that I got was Sean Mayer. And the greatest memory that I have of Sean was when we were in preschool. I remember we started school in 1999 and we were in grade triple naught. And Sean and I were best friends for the first three years of preschool. And the greatest image that stands out is a photo that I have of myself and Sean holding hands. He was dressed as Moses and I was dressed as a ballerina. And honestly, that was probably one of the best years that I've ever spent in Morris. Thank you, Sean. I chose Jamie Glazer. Okay, most of the stories I've told about Jamie are probably not appropriate. We, we all know Jamie. One of the funniest stories I have to tell is when she first got her braces at the beginning of the joke and she was still not quite sure how to clean them and how to use them. And we were sitting in the car and she was like, Amber, please can you clean my braces? Everyone was just staring at us. It was so inappropriate, but so Jamie. Kind of like this. <laughs> 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 I got Caleb. Caleb's a really nice guy and he's really good at accounting. All the best for next year. Okay, I'm doing Tommy. Okay, and um, I remember I used to go to school with Tommy in four bits of small days, and in grade three, I had the biggest crush on him ever. <laughs> and then I came here in grade nine, and he was in my class, and it was really awkward at first. But then after a while, like grade 10, -ish, 11, 12, like now, um, um, I've now gotten to know you properly and you're an amazing person and I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. Even though there's days where I cannot stand you, like in maths a lot, I think you're an amazing person with a great personality and I know you're going to do very well outside of school because you've got so much potential and I wish you all the best. I'm going to miss you. You may know her as a timid girl or the girl that eats under her desk quietly during every lesson. But let me tell you, that girl that has a crush on Cardinal Napier, Jessie Governor, is not who you think it is. She is the same girl that fell asleep on my mom's lap during every preschool party. And she's the same girl that in grade two, when Miss Stevenson closed the door and told everyone to keep quiet, Jessie stood up here at her desk and said, Let's party! Jessie, we all love you so much. Good luck for the future. We all miss you. Um, I'm doing my video on Michael Campbell. Um, I was here in Morris when Michael was in Great North. I wasn't necessarily in Great North with him, but I won't go into the details right now. Um, over the last few years, me and Michael have become quite good friends. I'm happy to consider him one of my best friends. Definitely one of the nicest guys I know. I know he's going to New Zealand next year, and I'm going to miss him a lot, so I wish him good luck on his travels. Hope he does really well. Very nice guy. Thank you. Minnie, this is for you. <clears throat> I see you through your window while I'm standing on a tree outside. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so James. I've known him for a long time now. He's one of my friends. What, I, what can I say about him? He is the man with the plan. He loves looking in the mirror because he's always bragging about his muscles. And I know for a fact that his aren't bigger than everyone else's. Anyways, my final thoughts about him are he's a very good friend and I hope he gets to where he wants to be. Shut James. Okay, Ashley, Azia, Dande, well, I've known you for quite a while now and it's been really cool hanging out with you in our spot during break. All I'm gonna say is enjoy fantasizing about GI. <laughs> we know who that is and I hope to see you again next year. I'm sure we're gonna keep in contact and I love zapping it out with you. Love you, Azia. Hi, I'll be talking about Sam. Um, when I met Sam, he was this guy with like really orange hair. And basically he was a ranger of our grade. But as Sam grew older, like his hair got strawberry blonde. So now we don't have a ranger anymore, so thanks Sam. But anyways, um, there was this one time. Um, I'm sure you guys remember Wade Finn, right? The guy with the bad teeth. But anyways, no one really commented on his teeth. 
because like to be polite and stuff. But trust Sam to go ask Wade Finn, hey, have you ever considered getting braces? So anyway, Sam, yeah, you've been really funny and stuff, so I'm really gonna miss you next year. <laughs> so, Tokozo. Yeah, she got to our school last year. She's a very good person, helps me a lot in bio, and yeah, thumbs up for next year. Hi, okay, when I talk about Brandon Scott, everybody will agree with me when I say funny and perfection. Like it takes him two hours to get his files ready for him to study. And it took him two hours to figure out his exam studying timetable. I remember way back in grade 8 on our very first day of school and we were freaking out because there was no drama in the school. But we made it, so good luck for finals, Brandon. <laughs> He's the best twin ever. Max oh. oh. Leoma, even though I've only known you since the beginning of K11, really good friends now, and I hope we can stay that way. Cameron Doherty, he sleeps in class, he speaks so slowly, yet he still gets the best marks ever. Cameron, I don't know how you do it, you are a legend. Good luck for finals. Greg Brookhart. He's known for making things disappear, such as water bottles from our classrooms and our flash drives from us. What do you admire about Ashton Pollock? The fact that he works as hard as he parties, and that's hard. When I first started Morris, I was so shocked to have someone called Amber in my class. And we didn't really like each other in the beginning, because well, we had the same name. But now it's like our thing. Everyone knows this is Ambi Bambi or Ams. And Amber's a really unique person. And she's 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 really unique. <laughs> you can't get any more than that. But she really is awesome and she always makes us feel better when we down. She's someone we like to have around because she's always happy and bubbly. Always makes us feel better about ourselves. Okay, I chose Abby. Well, I didn't choose her, I picked her. Anyway, and I was really happy because she was one of my first friends at Morris and we pretty much stayed like besties for the whole of my high school career. And we have lots of past memories and future memories, like rage, it's gonna be awesome. So um, good luck for your finals, Abby. Good luck on becoming a teacher. I wish your kids, your future students, good luck too. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> anyway, and yeah, I know that we're always gonna be like friends don't always talk every day, but we we'll always say best at heart. Love you, lads. Cut. Luke Mingard is a rad ass guy. What? Oh, he's, yeah. just, he's just awesome. That's all I gotta say. Cheers. Good luck for next year. What? <laughs> Good luck for next year, Luke. <laughs> okay, I played Nadia Nadu's name, and I have lots of stories about Nas, but most of them will be inappropriate to tell. Um, but one I'll never forget is in grade 9 we were in Ms. Moonsami's class and Mr. Harris was um, batting for us and we were all sitting around the table and we had to keep quiet so we were all bored so Nadia decided to scrumple paper and stuff it in her mouth and get her space case and start stroking it and saying so what you come here in your time of need and then she tried to say something else and she started choking on the piece of paper and nobody else would help her take it out because we were laughing too much and she couldn't grab it to get it out because her mouth couldn't open wide enough Nadia. so it was really funny <laughs> next year now it's on this year bye yeah. I got meshed to Soma and despite me never really interacting with her that much this year I can honestly say that whenever I did interact with her she was always an incredibly nice, compassionate person so I wish her the best of luck for next year and anyone who meets her is very lucky indeed I'm playing Timothy Baker thanks for being such a good friend um, we've been good friends since grade 3 and geography has been fun with you good luck with lights Mm -hmm. I'd just like to thank Jonathan Newman for informing me on what I should do if ever there's a zombie apocalypse. Our head girl, one of the best leaders this world has ever seen before. Emma Chipola, loved by all, treasured by many, and she has been the bestest friend since grade 5. Even though her writing was like the size of the whole page, she's corrected that. And she's been like the coolest friend to everyone. I know everyone has a great memory of her. I know I do. I know you guys do. And I know we're all going to miss her. Love you, Em. 
Yeah, yeah. I've, I've known KSV throughout and you know, we've had some good times and I wish you all the best for the future. Good friends, uh, Spieto, Matsol, Andile, Shibase, oh, Foto Guanele, yeah, he's an honest guy, he's cool, he stands up for his rights, yeah, we all know him as KK, though we don't know where the KK actually comes from because we think it's the K from Guanele, but that, that's a bit far fetched, yeah, so yeah, he's a good guy though, yeah. Okay, so I got Rory Sets going, you know, shout out Rory, you know, man, it's been a long time coming, uh, counting, group two, you know what it is. Uh, Stay puff, Rory's stay on rich. steroids, cats out the bag. Stay puff, stay rich, you know what it is, man. Rory, Rory. Angelo Catranzas, a recent drop in since grade nine, but he's a very joyful and funny guy, and I'm glad to have him in my friend group. Bye! Bye.